Look who it is. It's Kamaka Hepa from the Hawaii basketball team. Kamaka, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So tell us, where are we? Uh, we're over here at my apartment complex in Manoa. Oh, I love it. Let's go for a little walk. Let's start off with where are you originally from? I'm originally from a small town called Barrow, Alaska. Oh, what's the weather like there? Uh, very cold. It's probably below zero and barely getting any sunlight right now. Oh man, I'm sure you're enjoying Hawaii right about now. Definitely. What is the population there? Uh, just over 4,500 people. Tell us, what do you miss most about home? Definitely my family and our little family dinners that we'd have. Mm, I totally agree with you on that. Do you play any other sports growing up? Uh, I did cross country in high school, if that counts. Totally counts. Mm -hmm. So tell us, when did you start playing basketball? I started in preschool. Look at you, baby baller. What high school did you play for? I played for two different high schools. First was Barrow High School up in Alaska. Um, and then for my junior and senior year, I played for Jefferson High School in Portland. Mm, safe to say you were the tallest on the team? Definitely. Can we ask how tall you are? I'm 6'9". Wow! Tell us, what made you pick the University of Hawaii? Uh, mostly just the relationship that I had built with the coaching staff during the recruiting process and then also the players as well. And what's the one thing that surprised you the most about living in Hawaii? Uh, definitely the winters. I haven't been able to go to the beach in the winter time before, so it's been a great experience. I'm sure the family's getting a lot of selfies on the beach. <laughs> what is something that would be people would be surprised to know about you? Uh, probably that I'm Hawaiian, Filipino, and native Alaskan. Oh, mixed plate you are. Name an <laughs> idol that you admired the most growing up. Uh, Dwight Howard when he was on the Magic. And your favorite current NBA player? Uh, definitely Kevin Durant of the Brooklyn Nets. Do your teammates have a nickname for you? They usually just call me Mock. Oh, Mock, all right. So who is on your pre-game playlist? Uh, definitely Gunna's new album, um, probably featuring Meek Mill too. Oh, great song selections. Who would you say is the funniest person on the team? Uh, definitely Amora Lotto. And who has the most swag? Uh, probably after me, I would say Samuta Avea. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Do you have any pre-game superstitions or rituals? Uh, just that I like to take showers before games. Okay, ladies, he's smelling good before the game. <laughs> what about a favorite pre-game meal? Uh, probably a barbecue mixed play. Oh, yum. What is it like being a Simplify athlete for Bank of Hawaii? Uh, it's been a really great experience just to have them as a financial resource for any questions that I have and then also those relationships as well. Oh, definitely. Those relationships are key. Do you have any financial goals? Uh, just that I would like to own a rental property, a real estate property uh, within the next three to five years. That's a great goal. What makes Bank of Hawaii a good bank for you as a student athlete? Uh, mostly that it's local and very, uh, and also mobile as well. And what type of things are you looking for in a good bank? Uh, mostly just accessibility. Favorite spot to uh, hang out on the island? Mm, probably Makapu. Oh, I love that spot. How would you describe the personality of the team this year? I would say very outgoing. I think we have a lot of different personalities on a team and I think they mix well to, in how we express that. That's, yeah, you probably have great energy as well. If you could have one run out song that played every time your name was announced at the Simplify Arena, what song would that be? Uh, probably The Time Is Now, which is John Cena's uh, intro song. <laughs> we'll remember that the next time. <laughs> so tell us, what are you majoring in? Uh, finance. And what would your dream job be? Uh, right As of right now, to play professional basketball. Okay, you could be your future team's financial advisor. I love it. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Uh, yes, I have two brothers and two sisters. And where are you in that lineup? I'm the second youngest. Okay. Well, who's the most famous basketball player that you've ever played against or with? Uh, probably Mo Bamba, the Orlando Magic. Wow, okay. What NBA coach would you most want to play for? Uh, Greg Popovich. Why is that? Uh, just because he's a Hall of Fame coach. I'm sure you get a lot of great pointers. Favorite NBA team? Uh, Brooklyn Nets as of right now. And do you prefer March Madness or the NBA playoffs? March Madness. Oh yeah, so much more fun. <laughs> what is your dream car? Probably a brand new uh, Ford Raptor. You have a favorite movie? Uh, Interstellar. And any shows that you're currently binging on? Uh, I just started watching the second season of Demon Slayer, which is an anime. Oh, okay, you're gonna have to tell me more about that. Did you play any instruments? Uh, only the trombone in sixth grade. Do you, have you learned any pigeon slangs or phrases uh, since you've lived here? Not so fluently, no. <laughs> okay, you've got a couple <laughs> more years. Favorite local food? Uh, probably a lao lao. Ooh, yum. Do you prefer mountain or the ocean? Definitely the ocean. Yeah, good answer. Mm. What's the most challenging part about being a student athlete? 
Just managing uh, the busy schedule that we have with athletics for sure. And so tell us, what do you do on your days off? Uh, I usually go to the beach. Of course, because you love the ocean. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Hopefully still playing professional basketball. Yeah, we hope so too. You're amazing. What do you enjoy most about playing for Hawaii? Uh, really our fans. I think they do a great job of expressing how they feel about UH Athletics. Hawaii has the best fans. Tell us, what advice would you give to any young basketball player that dreams of playing in college? Uh, just to continue working hard and not to give up because it is a long journey. Great advice. How would you want people to remember you after your time playing in Hawaii comes to an end? Uh, really just as a, as a leader and a, and a great teammate. Well, Kamaka, it was such a pleasure chatting with you today. Hope you have a great day. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Take care.